Hi, I'm Tony Fleming, and this is Fleming's Ultimate Garage. Hey, thanks for joining us on today's video. Listen, man, the world of muscle cars, Cudas and Challengers, right up there at the very top. And then once in a while, you know, when we were when we were ordering these cars, we ordered them to go fast because they did go fast. And the less things they had on them, the faster they went. At least that's what we thought in our mind, right? As we get a little bit older, to find some muscle cars with a lot of equipment on them is harder and harder to find. And in fact, this is the most loaded Mopar we've ever had here. This Challenger RT with the larger engine with all of the accoutrements, these factory options and fender tag and documentation and incredible color combination and things like that makes this an instant collector car. Not to mention it's beautifully restored. Check out the pictures underneath, inside the engine compartment, interior and what have you. We're gonna spend a few minutes looking at paint quality. We're gonna spend a few minutes uh, looking at uh, under the hood because it's beautifully detailed. I'm encouraging you to drive this car to work on a Friday, man, it'll change your life, right? Uh, and then maybe if you want to go to a show on Sunday, you can do that. Maybe you want to go out with another couple to dinner on a, on a Saturday night. This is a game changer for everybody. All right. Anyway, so let's start with that. We'll start with uh, burnt orange metallic paint, which is one of my favorite colors ever made because, you know, black looks great and red looks great. But this is a super classy color, which makes this car and the color combination pop so much. And a lot of time was spent on paint. And let's go ahead and make sure we come on in, able to read the letters nice and clear, make sure that you guys can really understand that that pictures can hide the quality of paint, but the video is gonna show us exactly what we're looking for, hence the reason why it's so difficult for you guys to look at this, and much easier for you to look at this. All right, let's take a peek under here, uh, but, but, but before we get into too much of that, I would like to show you the pins have arrived. All right, the grill of the 70 is fabulous, you have to admit, sunken in, it looks deep, it's considered one of the best looking grills out there and then detailed in here. So let's talk about this because this is where uh, the investment grade quality changes from one car to the next. When the engine is taken out and detailed and all of these things are done correct, not to mention, this is what's cool. Like, like typically red cars and black cars are typically cars that were driven really hard. A car like this is a slightly more conservative. And so maybe that's why it has so many options. Maybe this is a factory demo unit, right? For instance, how many of the cars would have come with air conditioning, would have come with factory cruise control, power brakes, power steering. Not all of these things are standard on these cars. This has the upgraded 440 instead of the standard 383 engine. And we have here uh, a real uh, original style battery, the replica battery in here. So when you open the hood of the car, man, like this looks really, really good. It's all painted under here, the insulation under the hood like it's supposed to. And then a couple key components that take a car from being just a regular car and we don't know enough about it to a car that's authenticated or things like the fender tag that's here underneath loaded with options a lot of codes on there this has a vin number stamped right here on the radiator support okay and that's an important part letting you know the car hasn't been crashed and this piece has been replaced because you can't buy this piece right they're not going to restamp it for you at the factory and the fact that this still has all the stuff on here means that somebody really loved this car and took really good care of it not to mention you can look at the restoration and see that as well all right, so I want to talk about a couple of things outside the car that make this look great. A lot of times people will say to me, man, that's a great looking car, but you never really know, you never really know why it's a great looking car. I want to point out a few things. First off, uh, the louvers are great. I'm a huge hood pin guy. Like I'm saying on my casket, I want hood pins. I want to be there for a while, so it doesn't really matter, right? But right here, another set of almost hood pins that hold these down and then what these flip up so that you can clean the rear window, okay? The go wing. Fabulous, fabulous piece. Almost every car in the world should have that. Almost every car in the world does have that, right? Uh, and it's also adjustable. So there's a couple of set screws in here. You can adjust the spoiler uh, to do that. The call outs here for the RT and the quad tip exhaust. 15 inch rally wheels, the Fiat Goodrich radial TAs. And then the RT stripe that goes along here is great. Add a couple little more touches to it. You gotta finish this, man. This is why we finish this car up like this is the hood stripe, right? The 440 Magnum callouts right here, and this car says, I am a muscle car. Keep in mind, you are amongst uh, a whole place full of supermodels and other beautiful muscle cars. This car on the street looks spectacular. All right, the tail end of the car, which a lot of people are going to see. You know, keep in mind, the 440 is one powerful engine. It was probably one of the best 
engines made. Chrysler engineers are fabulous. I know my GM guys are going to be like ready to take me down. Don't take me down. Ford guys are like, are you kidding me? No, we own the world's best. Whatever. Everybody has their flavor. Whatever. This car, rock and roll. It says 375 horsepower, uh, but I think that it's quite a bit more. So this is a lot of what people see. They see the great taillight design. They see the quad tips. They see this cool wing and the rear window louvers. And then if you decided to go to a car show, right, and you wanted to, this is all beautifully painted. This has the correct braces for the spoiler and not just drilled through the trunk and left in there. This has uh, uh, the painted trunk, which is very different than, say, uh, a GM or a Ford, where Chrysler spent the money painting underneath the cars, painting the engine compartments, painting the insides of the trunks as well, which makes them a much nicer looking finished product when you're done. This has the correct mats, the weather stripping. You can see the detail. I, I'm talking about how great this car is, but uh, you can see from the video it is. I just like to point it out so you can see all those good things. And then when you're closing, it's just everything just sits, and feels, and sounds good. All right, so come join me inside here for a second. And this, my friends, uh, has some really great stuff I wanted to show you. First off, this has the rally dash in it, so it has the 150 mile an hour speedometer. It's got the 8,000 RPM tack, full array of gauges, okay? It's got the AM stereo in it. It's got, uh, obviously, we talked about uh, the air conditioning under the hood, but that's really nice. And then it has some uh, other things in here. The console is not standard, and this also has the slapstick shifter, which uh, you really can't see exactly how it works, but I just want to show you how nice it works. When you floor it and you decide, or if you just want to do a mildly little bit of gas, you smack it to here. That's as far as it goes. That's second gear. You let it go a little bit, right? You hear a click, and then it's ready for third gear. When it's time to shift into third, you slip it into third like that. That's why it's called a slapstick, because you can just slap it and it won't go any farther. That way you can't miss a shift. You can't go too many too far. And then when you're ready to put it in park, and that's what you do, all right? Color match console, buckets, so the carpets are new, the seats are new, the headliner is new, like the dome lights are working, the, the, all of the stuff in here. The dash is working the way it's supposed to. Most people don't know, but the dash and the Chryslers don't light up the gauges. The lights actually shine down onto everything. It gives it this really cool glow at night. So it's everything, the whole dash is lit up, not just uh, the gauges. Those are little details. This is a cool little touch here, the three-spoke wheel, right? With this accordion style uh, piece in here, door panels. I get excited about these interiors of cars, especially beautiful ones like this with contrasting stitching in the dash and what have you, because I know what it costs to bring an interior to this level. It's like a brand new car inside here. And uh, I think this is one of the best places you're gonna spend your time. All right, let's close up the video with these beautiful details on a beautiful car about some beautiful stuff. 440 Magnum, legendary engine above the 383, right? Not that the 383 wasn't good, but this is even better. Air conditioning versus non-air conditioning even better right cruise control even better power steering and power brakes even better get inside the interior here and we have the rally dash which is really nice the console with a slapstick shifter even better right louvers rear wing detailed painted show quality ready to go to a show or just go to work on a friday or go for a ride with the kids on a saturday or sunday or go to dinner during the week with somebody this is an awesome change in your life man it's investment grade which is even uh a greater piece of the fact that you, these have typically been going up over time. And what's not to like about that when you can wheel around something while it's going up in value? Awesome. Anyway, call us 301 816 1000. We'll tell you all about this Challenger RT. Yeah, boy, that's uh, What's wrong, officer? Boy, you in a heap of trouble. Violation city orders 11 14, operating a racing type vehicle inside the city limits. Oh, officer, this is the new Dodge Challenger RT. It's, it's, it's not a racer. Ain't hey, not. What kind of tires them, boy? Optional polyglass GTs. Racing tires. Them stripes, that boy, what you call those? R racing stripes. <laughs> I suppose that's a reconverted lawnmower motor. Optional 440 Magnum V8. What's that doohickey in that, boy? Well, that's a new optional slapstick racing shift. But look, it's got uh, concealed wipers, and it's got dual headlights. Now, you don't find that on any racer, do you? Careful, boy. I'll book you as a law officer. If you can handle the way people react to your 1970 Dodge Challenger, you could be Dodge material. Now look, boy, I know a race car when I see one.